Welcome back to Art for OUR's YouTube channel. Um, I live in northern Utah in the United States, and every fall we have these beautiful orange uh, berried bushes um, show up. The, the berries are different. Uh, I don't know, I guess they're green in the spring, and um, about fall time they start turning a bright orange, and they're just beautiful everywhere. You don't want to get near them, though, because they've got crazy mean thorns on them, but I happen to have in my possession a freeze dryer, and I thought, if I can dry these suckers well enough, maybe I can stick them in a, a resin vase and uh, be able to enjoy the beautiful orange fall colors all the time. So, as with most of my projects, uh, great idea. The uh, <laughs> the execution, on the other hand, was a little lacking. Um, the uh, when you freeze dry stuff, I, I uh, on my last project, I didn't realize how little people know about freeze drying. We use it to preserve food that we've produced or bought. Um, so what happens when you freeze dry is the the, this machine, uh, the, the one we have is from Harvest Right. Uh, these guys are awesome. It's a Utah-based company. Uh, the machine takes it through cycles of freezing super super cold and then heating it and all the while doing it under a vacuum. And what happens is the moisture, hopefully, all the moisture in the, in the item is removed. And so if you put a slice of an apple in there, you get this cardboard nothing out of it that's got all the nutrients preserved just no water and so food will last i'm being told and i hope is accurate 20 30 years once you freeze dried it and so with my mushroom project recently and with this one if you run it through the freeze dryer a number of times you end up with an incredibly dry uh, preserved specimen and if you use epoxy and soak the item immediately in epoxy um, before it can suck up any moisture, which is pretty easy to do here in Utah because we've got such a low humidity. Um, the item sucks up the the, uh, the resin, and you end up with a, a, a something that could literally be preserved forever. Uh, it shouldn't have any ability to rot because it's pretty much a sterile, perfectly dry... Um, bit of nature you've shoved in there so we'll see um i'm using the thick set resin by by total boat now i took some calculated uh, risks on this this is not the resin i usually use i happen to have some left over and the risk i took was the walls in this were a little thick not supposed to be over an inch this is an inch and a half closer to two inches and so I knew that doing this, it might crack. I've One of my previous projects called the Crystal Tree, the cracks in that added some interest to it that I hadn't planned on and I just loved. And so I thought, you know what, if that happens, fine. But I also knew if that happened, it would be a very hot exothermic reaction with the resin and I would lose the color of my berries. Um... And I was willing to take that risk, so I'm going to have to do this again because, as you can see, my berries are almost black. If you look really close, it's really a you know a burnt orange, but uh, I'm going to have to do it again with a different kind of resin and and go for the preserved berry look, which was my original idea. But this turned out cool anyway. I call it the berry forest. If you look really close when it's finished, it's kind of a trippy look of a uh, of forest, maybe little tiny orange trees or something. But uh, there you have it. So that's that's how this came together. Um, as always, I sell my items at Art for OUR. I'm starting something new. I'm going to do auctions instead of just setting a price. I'll let you guys determine what it's worth. Uh, there is a minimum bid, uh, so I guess I'm cheating a little bit there. But if you go to Art for OUR and look for current or, or ongoing auctions, it's one of the first buttons. Click on it. You'll see whatever I've got currently being auctioned and um 100 of the money goes to operation underground railroad to help fight child trafficking around the world which is a somewhat hidden but huge problem um 
Operation Underground Railroad was started by Tim Ballard, this awesome guy who um, has grown quite this large nonprofit with thousands of volunteers around the world, and they've they have rescued I want to say just over four thousand kids, um, they, which has led to the arrest of several thousand uh, pedophiles or, or kids taking advantage or, or adults taking advantage of these kids. So um, yeah, join me in. Uh, in uh, in this small fight that I I spend my my spare time trying to lend a voice to and, and raise money, lots of ways you can help. Uh, we've crossed the ten thousand subscriber mark, so you can buy merchandise below in the subscription the, the description of the of the video. Again, everything I raise goes to Operation Underground Road, so that'd be awesome. There's also a fundraiser set up, which you can directly um, submit some money. If you want to be an all-star, you can uh, sign up for a paid subscription to the channel, and that's just a couple of bucks a month, and it's just a recurring thing, and again, I donate it all, so whatever you want to do would be awesome. I found with this resin that it was chipping really badly, and I had to use this scraper a lot more than I usually would, but it worked. I finally got it smoothed out, and... Uh, in the end, it was just fine. The other favorite tool I've been using is called the Simple Hollowing System uh, by Simple Tools. Uh, it's a mechanical arm that clamps to the to the lathe, and it helps you get inside large vases like this where you can't really extend your tool rest far enough in there to safely uh, turn the inside of the vase. That's been an awesome instrument. Um, Simple Tools um, is a great resource. So as you can see, there's a lot of cracks in here, and that was kind of my goal. I wanted to see refracted light. Uh, I wanted to have a, get, have, a, have a bit more interest than just plants in a clear uh, resin field. And so I'm quite pleased how this works. It's a bit of a risk. If you do too thick of walls and it gets too hot, you'll get cracks that will destabilize it. There was a few deep ones here, so I super glued it together by uh, the super glue is by Starbond. Um, there's a discount code in the description you can use uh, to help save some money if you're using lots of, of the uh, super glue. They're an awesome sponsor that's helped me uh, uh, raise money for Operation Underground Railroad. Now you'll notice the edge of this bowl for just a minute is really rough and it was, came out so perfectly done on accident. I almost left it like that. Kind of like a frosted look. And then I lost my nerve after a minute and I sanded it out, but uh, maybe next time. Anyway, thanks for you guys' support. Can't do without you. Um, appreciate all you do as far as all those who've donated. Uh, artists that have donated their work to Art for OUR. If you're a woodworker, wood turner, we'd love to host your stuff. Uh, we're starting to put items in art shows. Uh, around the state here where I live and uh, I think we raised over just a, close to $27,000 so far uh, so we'd love your help however you can do have a great one thanks